Charles Messier was a French astronomer. He published an astronomical catalogue consisting of 110 nebulae and faint star clusters, which came to be known as the Messier objects. Messier's purpose for the catalogue was to help astronomical observers distinguish between permanent and transient visually diffuse objects in the sky. Messier was born in Badenviller in the Lorraine region of France, the tenth of twelve children of Françoise B. Grandblaise and Nicolas Messier, a court usher. Six of his brothers and sisters died while young, and his father died in 1741. Charles' interest in astronomy was stimulated by the appearance of the great six-tailed comet in 1744 and by an annular solar eclipse visible from his hometown on July 25, 1748. In 1751, Messier entered the employ of Joseph Nicolas de Lisle, the astronomer of the French Navy, who instructed him to keep careful records of his observations. Messier's first documented observation was that of the Mercury transit of May 6, 1753, followed by his observations journals at Cluny Hotel and at the French Navy observatories. In 1764, Messier was made a Fellow of the Royal Society. In 1769, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, and on June 30, 1770, he was elected to the French Academy of Sciences. Messier discovered 13 comets, Messier's grave in Perlich as he also co-discovered comet C-1801N1, a discovery shared with several other observers including Pons, Mechon, and Bouvard. Near the end of his life, Messier self-published a booklet connecting the Great Comet of 1769 to the birth of Napoleon, who was in power at the time of publishing. According to Mike Meyer, as hard as it may seem to accept, the memoir is an ingratiation to Napoleon in order to receive attention and monetary support. It is full of servility and opportunism. Messier did not even refrain from utilizing astrology to reach his goal. Messier comes quickly to the point on the first page of the memoir, by stating that the beginning of the epoch of Napoleon the Great, coincides with the discovery of one of the greatest comets ever observed. Messier is buried in Père Lachaise Cemetery, Paris, in section 11. The grave is faintly inscribed, and is near the grave of Frédéric Chopin, slightly to the west and directly north, and behind the small mausoleum of the horologist Abraham Louis Brigitte. The Orion Nebula is drawn by Messier, and which he gave the designation M42 in his catalogue Messier's occupation as a comet hunter led him to continually come across fixed diffuse objects in the night sky which could be mistaken for comets. He compiled a list of them, in collaboration with his friend and assistant Pierre Mechon, to avoid wasting time sorting them out from the comets they were looking for. The entries are now known to be 39 galaxies, 4 planetary nebulae, 7 other types of nebulae, and 55 star clusters. Messier did his observing with a 100mm refracting telescope from Hotel de Cluny, in downtown Paris, France. The list he compiled only contains objects found in the area of the sky Messier could observe, from the North Celestial Pole to a declination of about minus 35. 7 degrees. They are not organized scientifically by object type, or by location. The first version of Messier's catalogue contained 45 objects and was published in 1774 in the Journal of the French Academy of Sciences in Paris. In addition to his own discoveries, this version included objects previously observed by other astronomers, with only 17 of the 45 objects being discovered by Messier himself. By 1780 the catalogue had increased to 80 objects. The final version of the catalogue was published in 1781, in the 1784 issue of Connaissance des Temps. The final list of Messier objects had grown to 103. On several occasions between 1921 and 1966, astronomers and historians discovered evidence of another seven objects that were observed either by Messier or by Mechon, shortly after the final version was published. These seven objects, M104 through M110, are accepted by astronomers as official Messier objects. The objects Messier designations, from M1 to M110, are still used by professional and amateur astronomers today and their relative brightness makes them popular objects in the amateur astronomical community. Commemorative plaque in Messier's hometown of Badenvler the lunar crater Messier and the asteroid 7359 Messier were named in his honor. Thanks for watching.